Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here to do your weekly reads for roughly the 17th to the 24th of um, August. And this is for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, thank you for joining me on my channel. I want to say thank you for subscribing, thank you for your thumbs up, thank you for your support. If the readings don't resonate with you, please do not try to make them fit. They are general. If you need a private reading, the information is always in the message box below. If that doesn't work for you, please make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart or move on to another reader. Okay. I think I've got the cards upside down here. Okay, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okie dokie, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, death card coming out. Now, I have seen through all the readings today, the transformations, the cycles closing, the standing in your truth, the letting go of past expectations, letting go of childhood beliefs, letting go of social conditioning, letting go of the ego, all the way through the readings. This is no different for you. Um, the death card comes as sort of like guidance in how to move forward, how to adapt to your situation. It's about letting parts of you die that no longer serve you. Um, it's about changing so that you can have in your life what you want to have in your life. So this is a move to, to being a little bit more spiritual and a little less egoic. So there is a definite feel here that you are doing some work to bring in change. Yet yeah, you're moving away from something here with the Six of Swords. You're taking your ideas, you're taking the, you know, the things you have learned and you are moving forward onto new things here. Now, for some of you, you could be moving on to an uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. But for others of you, this is about now standing in your truth and being able to speak your place, speak your mind, sp say what you want to say, express yourself, cut out that that no longer serves you. But you're doing it in a way that is very mature, is very well thought out. You are coming into your own here. It's really nice. Oh, and we have the King of Wands, uh, King of Wands behind that. So this is about taking back leadership in your life. This is you, Sagittarius, grabbing your passion and moving forward with a sense of purpose. This is beautiful. Now, I didn't mean for that to come out, but it has. So you have a choice of walking a completely different pathway now due to this um, feeling of shedding, shedding stuff that no longer serves you, shedding the, you know, the ideas that you don't deserve something, that you are not worthy of something, that, you know, things don't go in your favour. All that negative stuff is about to be shedded with that death card. So let's have a look and look what it results in. So we're walking into abundance here. We have enough money to do what we want to do. We have a family around us or people around us who love and respect us. And we're feeling very, very much like we have a sense of belonging here. And there's the cycle closing. So maybe you've had, you know, battles with um, self-image, confidence, uh, understanding your value, um, coming into a world where, you know, you perhaps had tough upbringing, whether that was a very strict upbringing or whether a lot of expectations were placed on you by your family. But what I want to say to you is here, you've been laid bare. So this whole situation this death card is allowing you to be who you are you know i remember people saying to me years ago when i was doing presentations you know and you're stepping out in front of many many people and someone said to me once you know just imagine that nobody in the audience has any clothes on and i was like oh that's horrific <laughs> i don't know if i can do that but what they were trying to say was everybody is the same we are all exactly the same but for some unknown reason, some of us feel lesser than others. And this is the feeling that you are discarding here. This feeling that you weren't able to achieve what you wanted to achieve. You were not able to go where you wanted to go. You're not able to have the person you wanted to have. All of that feeling is going here because you are seizing the day here. You are absolutely 100% ready. Look at you here. Nine of Pentacles energy. Beautiful. And because of that, you are bringing in love here. So, you know, this is the first reading I've done where it's been clearly a feeling that, you know, you have an opportunity here with some soulmate to build on a future. 
um, and I feel like you haven't been able to move forward either for financial reasons or because you weren't in a position financially or ready emotionally to take this step. And I feel that perhaps you didn't feel that you were ready or you didn't feel that you were worthy and now the universe is saying yep you need to shed that idea of yourself that old idea doesn't work anymore in this time in this universe it's time to go and now you're moving forward with this huge amount of passion here it's like all the passion I could see that in the king of wands up the beginning it's like you have this really strong sense of self now that you're moving forward with. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn here because there's quite a lot of earthy energy here with these pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. I think I said Capricorn for some reason, which is quite interesting. An earth sign. Yes, look, the universe is saying, Sagittarius, you have everything you need here. You have all the tools you need to move forward on this. Why self-doubt? You've done the transformation now. You're ready to work on something new now. You've done what you needed to do and now you can move forward and offer something to someone. This is very nice. Ah, a ten of wands. You can put the burdens down now, Sagittarius. I'll pop an extra card on that, but I want to just have a look at what we've got. We have you here going through some sort of transformation this week, some sort of breaking down of old ideas, rebuilding, understanding your purpose, understanding your value, standing in your truth here. Some of you are moving away from something, so it could be that you're moving away from this cycle, from this change that you're going through but it could be that you're physically moving away from something else too it could be something that has not served you um, great feeling that you're standing in your truth finding your passion and ready to move in a new direction here um, and I feel for you that this new direction is in love so what I see here this week is the closing out of an old cycle the release of you know not believing in who you are and what you want um, you really are coming into this manifestation energy, this beautiful energy of the magician here. And you're ready to offer something to someone that you want to work on with something. But I feel like you didn't either realize this person was right for you before. You may be just starting out here with the page, asking them out on a date. But it's like you wanted to look at you move forward here with this Knight of Swords. Yeah, you are so ready to throw away this, this stuff that hasn't served you in the past and ready to move forward. Now, for some of you, you will be actually physically working on this, maybe doing meditations, you know, having a look at your life, how it is, and changing how you see yourself. You could be walking away from another situation to go towards this situation because you realise that this person is the person you want to be with, but perhaps you didn't feel that you were good enough for them before. Um, but you're definitely moving towards something that is much more aligned with your purpose, Sagittarius, and you are ready to put down the burdens of the past here and grab this future with absolute enthusiasm and gratitude. So I don't know what you've done, but you've hit it big time. <laughs> you've hit the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, so you have the card of the Tree of Life coming out here. So let me just read that for you. Okay. To find health and balance in your life, reflect on how you dance with your actions, your thoughts and your feelings. That's very strong in this reading. If you are too much in your thinking head, or in a world of fantasies and daydreaming, connect more with your roots and your physical body. If you're caught in mechanical doing and you are feeling stuck, not able to imagine a better life for yourself, open yourself to be inspired by the heavens. Let your roots and branches be aligned with your heart's longings. And that is exactly what you're doing here. It's like you're letting go of all these beliefs and you're going after what you really want. I love it, Sagittarius. Have a fantastic week.